something, something happened to me and I have to give God the praise. But first, please help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. Why? Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. That's why. So, this was maybe a month ago. I was sleeping. And it was as though a beam had come down from heaven, from the Lord. And it was shining on my body. And my entire body, as I was sleeping, became made of light. It was as if the light of God had completely filled my entire body. And I was made out of light because the light of God's presence had filled me. It was one of the first times that I was in God's presence that I wasn't terrified and shivering and everything like that because I was asleep. So I was able to get out of my own way and let God do his thing and everything he does is perfect, right? So in that dream state, I welcome the Lord. I said something along the lines of, Oh, this is you, God. I worship you and I praise you and I welcome your presence, even though even in, a, in my sleep, I was overwhelmed. I woke up and they were hitting me with some kind of a DEW. My neighbor upstairs, they were hitting me with some kind of a DEW that was stronger than normal because I could feel the vibrations and everything. But the presence of God was so strong and the reality of his presence was so strong of what had just happened in my sleep that it didn't matter that they were hitting me. And I can only tell you what I suspect based on my years, I think it's going on four years now, of being an overt targeted individual as to what happened. I believe they were trying to hit me with some kind of a much more powerful directed energy weapon to try to force me to have to flee out of my place like they, they, like they did in, in Los Angeles uh, and to, to try to neutralize me in that instant. However, and they tried to do it while I was sleeping. What happened was that the Most High God who says that if you pay your tithes and your offerings and you make them go to the poor, he will not hand you over to the will of your enemies. Psalms 41 verses 1 and 2. Blessed is the one who considers the poor in the day of trouble. The Lord delivers him. The Lord delivered me from that. The Lord protects him. And keeps him, the Lord protected and kept me. You do not give him up to the will of his enemies. So whatever they were doing to me, whatever DEW they were hitting me with, because the Lord made me take care of the poor. These are six girls who I sponsor, and I've sent money directly to their families, all Africa, all Sub-Saharan Africa. I'm bragging about God. He made me do it. I'm not doing it because I'm righteous. So don't make comments because you know you are not giving. I'm letting you know. For that reason, because God made me give and give sacrificially and generously, he protected me that night from whatever the upstairs neighbor was doing. And now things are back to normal. Well, God only lets them hit me with stuff that's really minor annoyance and that just caused me to constantly be meditating and being in communion with God. I want this for you, beautiful born again T.I. So take what I'm saying, pray about it, and learn to apply it to yourself. That was God's rescue. That was God's mighty right hand on my behalf. That was the word of God's power rescuing me. God bless.